We've all been there at a social event, crowded with unfamiliar faces, you're looking around and you're wanting to start a conversation with someone. That's why in today's video, we're gonna look at some simple ways how you can start a conversation. Forget about being the funniest person in the room, forget about whacking out that one-liner, we're just gonna look at some simple ways how you can start a conversation. Before we jump into the conversation part, we need to discuss one thing, your mindset. Your mindset can be the difference between you succeeding and failing in life. If you change your mindset, it will not only boost your confidence, it will change your life. You've got to understand it's okay if someone doesn't want to talk to you. It's okay to get rejected. Rejection is part of life and you're going to get rejected a lot but it doesn't mean anything about you. So get comfortable with that because over the coming months and years, we're gonna experience a lot of it. Now let's look at some ways how you can start a conversation. You could be in a new town or a new city, you could be visiting or just move there. You could find a person in the street and just ask them, do you know any good places where I can get some good food? Or you could go, can you recommend any places that are worth visiting? Yes, simple but effective. All you're trying to do is open the conversation and see how the person responds. Now they might just walk away and you just be like, okay, no problem. But they might stop, talk to you, want to get to know you. Understand the situation is you've opened the conversation. They're taking time to get to know you and you do the same. Feel free to use the props around you. If they've got a dog, start talking about the dog. If they've got some groceries in the hands, start talking about that. Use anything to continue the conversation going. Another way you can start a conversation is using your thoughts. I use this so many times in Vietnam to make so many friends. I was walking down the famous parade, there used to be a guy with a massive snake around his neck. Everyone was taking pictures. There was a girl standing next to me. I said to her, why don't you put the snake around you and I'll take the picture. She was like, hell no, I ain't doing that. Then I said, if you do it, I'll do it. She goes, still no. And then I said, okay, let's do it together. She goes, hell no, I ain't trusting that snake which was kind of good because I didn't want to go with the snake anyway, but it would have been a good experience if we'd done it together. Anyway, conversation led to another conversation. We got chatting and we became friends. I made a new friend within less than 10 minutes in Vietnam. We met up, we went for food and we had some good times. But if I didn't take that opportunity to make that conversation, that would have never happened. And all I did was say what I was thinking. Now, if you've got some crazy thoughts in your head, I think you should keep them in there but you may have some thoughts that which you could share with someone and they may be thinking the same thing. Now, if you're looking to make new friends, the gym is a great place to meet new people. I've made so many friends in the gym, it's unbelievable. But here are some great ways you can start a conversation. When you're doing weights, go as heavy as you can. Then find the next guy to ask for a spot. Once he spotted you, just say to him, if you need a spot, let me know. Now, if this conversation's not going the way you want it, they don't really want to converse with you, that's fine. You know next time not to ask them, but that doesn't mean the next person doesn't want to have that conversation. The only way you'll find out is by talking to more and more people. Maybe you see someone in the gym, they've got a football t-shirt on. You can ask them, are they watching the game tonight? Or maybe you see them wearing a UFC t-shirt. You can ask them, are they watching the fight tonight? Little things to start the conversation. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of effort, but it will be worth it. If you don't talk to no one, you're not going to meet any new people. You're not going to make any new friends. You've got to be willing to put yourself out there to get that interaction with someone. And you will realize other people out there are lonely and they need to make friends first. So you be the one to initiate that initial conversation. Now going back to that crowded situation, whether it's a social event, work event, whatever event it is, you can just go old school. Walk over to the person, stick your hand out, say, I'm not seeing you around here, I'm Yas. As simple as that, 99% of people will respond. Maybe that 1% will be like, well, you haven't seen me because I don't know you. Well, that might happen, but don't let that discourage you because 99% of people will respond well. They'll be happy that you came over and they'll be impressed by your confidence and your courage. Now you're probably thinking these are some very simple techniques, some very simple sentences. I've not learned any hacks here and you're right. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and you're less likely to mess up. As you get more confident and you get to learn yourself, you become a better communicator, you can go in with some crazy lines. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more people you approach, the better it'll become in time. Now, if you're still struggling with your confidence, you might wanna check this video out.